Welcome to Johnny's World. Today I wanted to talk about my second favorite fruit tree, which is the pomegranate tree. So here I have a pomegranate tree I, I have, and it has some wonderful pomegranates on it. And today I wanted to show you how to grow a, a pomegranate tree from a cutting. So here's a pomegranate tree that I previously planted from a a prior cutting I did and as you can see it's pretty uh, it's grown pretty well and here's another pomegranate tree that I did from a that grew from a prior cutting as well. A few things I'd like to go over before we do our actual cutting of the pomegranate branch is one I want to uh, sanitize my cutting here I put a little bit of alcohol or hydrogen peroxide and it just clean it so take any type of bacteria you know so that we'll use for the cutting another thing uh, is I put in some soil on three different I used uh, Gary's best top pot for this so it's on the pot and I'm gonna use a, uh, a root rooting hormone and this is the one I use and I have a little bit of water here, so after we cut, we could dip the branches in the water before we put the rooting. Um, and then also use one pencil, which I, I will bring. The pencil, what I use is um, prior to putting the branch in the soil, I'd I like to make the hole first so the soil doesn't strip the rooting harmonies. I like to get cuttings that are the size of a, maybe a pencil diameter. So this is about a pencil diameter here. So I'm going to cut As you can see this is a pencil diameter and uh, what I like to do is I like to cut about five to six inches and here I like to cut 45 degree diagonally because that increases the surface space for the water. A few cuttings from that branch and I took off the leaves and as you could see I cut everything 45 degrees so this goes on the bottom 45 degrees so basically um, dip this in water put some rooting hormones and then before you put it in soil it's it's best to get a pencil and create a hole so Basically, when you put the branch in there, it doesn't strip away the rooting hormone. And the 45 degree it goes in the bottom. And basically, there you go. And what I also like to do is, and then you water it. Water it a little bit. And what I like to do sometimes, and you don't have to do this, this is completely optional, but to speed up the process, I like putting a plastic bag. So in this case, it's a Ziploc bag around it to create a greenhouse effect. And you could use a little bit of whatever, tape or grafting tape or whatever you have available. And um, I like just wrapping it around. like that and the other ones I'm probably not gonna put in in any type of bag I'm just gonna like, put the root the 45 degree angle rooting hormone the hole there you go Pat it in a little bit of water there you go and if you're gonna put in a bag um, you know you want to check maybe every seven to ten days you might want to put a little bit add a, just a little bit more water into it and then put the bag over it so here's the cutting we just did of the pomegranate branch and um, 
we put it in a nice shady place. I put it with my avocado seedlings right here. And here are the other cut cuttings I did. And you do not need to put it, cover it with plastic. I've had success um, with cuttings growing into uh, pomegranate trees without plastic covering. So you do not need the plastic covering, but I like doing it just because it creates a greenhouse effect. But anyways, hopefully these uh, cuttings will turn into a a beautiful pomegranate tree like this one that I did with a previous cutting. Well, if you like this video, please press the like and subscribe button. Thank you.